morning and welcome to Jen Jiggles. My name is Jen. Today is August 23rd, 2018. It's a very gray day here in Lancashire, England, and I hope your day is a little bit sunnier and warmer and that you're having a good one. Uh, weight report first. I lost 0.4 pounds when I got in the scales this morning, so that's 0.8 pounds in two days, which is pretty good, but it's all kind of losing it really quick quick like uh, Kim said um, he kind of, it was kind of a fluky thing because I didn't eat and I gained weight and then it came off really quick so Kim you were right it did happen um, no new updates on the house we have an appointment with the bank and and the movers on Tuesday so both those things on Tuesday but that's it anyway I don't want to go on about that because I have some very important things I want to talk to you about today and I'm going to show you with my new program how my nutrients are tracked and whether I'm shows me whether I'm reaching my daily goals or not and so I guess the first thing that I really want to show probably is my calories by food so I'm gonna go this way and ooh, that's my fan. <laughs> I'm never gonna get my fingers right. So I'm gonna cover my fan up, okay, everybody? And I will be inserting here, 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 <laughs> my calories by food chart. So this is just from what I've entered today. This is, I know it's first thing in the morning, but I tend to put everything that I'm going to eat that way I stick to my menu for the day. So, so the first chart is the calories by food total intake for the day. Then in the lower left hand corner is my calories by meal and then my carb fat protein breakdown. Now it looks like there's a lot of carbs, but don't fear. I haven't met my carb goal for the day. So when you're looking at the carb fat protein breakdown, I have not met my carb goal for the day. In fact, I'm under my carb goal. Um, and my proteins are about right. So I've got, my proteins are about right. They're like 0.1% over. My carb goal is 0.5 under, and my fats are way under. And I'm trying to figure out how I can fix that. I added a little tiny bit of peanut butter to my toast this morning in hopes that I would bring my fat and my cholesterol up to where it's supposed to be because I'm not getting enough of that, I guess. So if you see the calories by food, the mashed potatoes I'm going to have tonight, they're dehydrated. Um, basically because I bought them ages ago at Costco, I need to use them up. So they're like 26% of my calories by food today. But again, I'm not meeting my carbohydrate levels, so I have to figure that out. Um, then the chicken, the roasted chicken for tonight, and the bread. And believe it or not, I mean, the two of those three largest things are carbohydrates and I still haven't met my carb intake. So again, I have to work on that. So if anybody's got any ideas, um, and the rest is basically lunch and breakfast. And I do put everything in. Like if you look at the bottom of that list, you'll see onions raw, which go in my tuna fish and yeah, every stinking little thing, even though I know there's like no calories in that whatsoever, that and the iceberg lettuce, I still put everything in. Um, my calories by meal, I, if you notice dinner clearly is the largest, but I'm not going to change that. What I would like to see is an increase in the equality between breakfast and lunch. Okay, because I find that by the time I get to this time, which is about 10 in the morning, I am starting to get really hungry and I tend to, I don't, I don't eat things I'm not supposed to. I don't do it, but I tend to give it more thought there. And so I'm having that internal argument with myself. So I've got to find a way to balance that. So I feel more full after breakfast. One way I was trying to combat that was to have my breakfast a little bit later. Um, but then I do find that if I do that, I want to have something else to eat right after I eat my breakfast. I don't know why it just pops into my head. Once I start eating, just my, my body or my brain says continue to eat. So I'm trying to avoid that. So that's one chart. 
that I have. And then my next chart is basically my goals, you know, keeping my goals in. Now, this is basically what I should be doing right now. So this is me, this is where I'm at, and these are the goals. So my goal is 50% for carbohydrates and I'm not meeting that. And as you can see, I'm 6% under on my fat, and my, but my protein is 30%. So I'm not gonna change the protein, I have to have meats. I am never gonna be a vegetarian, I'm never gonna be vegan, I'm never gonna be anything like that. And I know you get protein through beans and blah, 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 but that's not my gig. I like, I like steak, I like chicken, I like pork chops, I like my meat. So my goal will probably on a daily basis be over for that. But in my own mind, I'm more concerned with the carbohydrates, which is probably why they're 5% below what they should be and definitely the fat. So these are things that I see on a daily basis um, through my new program and they do make me mindful, they do educate me, and they do say, hey, and my coach says, what is going on with you, right? And then the next view you're going to see, now moving on, is are my nutrients goal for the day. So as it is right now, I haven't closed my meals out yet, but I am, and I'm sort of, I'm trying to look at the camera and look at that at the same time, sorry everyone. Um, so right now looking at this, I see I'm supposed to have 12 to 1500 calories. I'm trying to stay closer to 12. So even with a snack of strawberries, I'm still at 907 calories. So I've got like 300 calories to go and I absolutely do not know where I'm going to find those. Um, maybe a little bit of yogurt. I don't know. Um, my fat is under, as you can see, um, by three grams my carbs are not in the middle as you can see my goal for the day is you know 135 i'm still at 103 my protein's kind of in the goal middle um and then you go down through and you see the cholesterol which i'm up near basically my goal but i'm under it's my 300 milligrams um sodium is way lower than it's supposed to be. Um, my potassium, I need to get that up, so maybe my extra thing to get my calories up will be a banana, because they have a lot of that. Um, I never get enough vitamins, so I, I'm thinking I might start taking vitamins if I can find one that will, my body will absorb, because I'm hearing vitamin tablets don't really help people, because your body doesn't really absorb those in the same way that they do when you eat the food. Um, my iron is a concern of mine. And I am going to go visit the um, doctor next week. My nutritionist appointment was rescheduled for next Tuesday. So I might pop in and see if I can see the doctor for a minute and have them maybe draw some blood and tell me how my iron levels are really, truly. Um, yeah. So the rest of it, I don't have a lot of trouble with my cholesterol. That's fine. I'm good. Last time I was at the doctor, even though I'm way overweight, my blood pressure was fine and I was in a healthy range and as well as my respiratory rate and my oxygen intake and everything. So I'm all good there. So yeah, so this is what I see on a daily basis with the new program. Um, I can guess I can move back now. I really do pay attention to that every single day. Um, today I haven't exercised, but I will later. I burnt my hand pretty bad this morning <laughs> with the iron. Have you ever ironed? And while you're ironing, you're thinking, oh, I'm burning a lot of calories and you don't concentrate. And when you go to stand your iron up, it starts to tip over onto your carpeted floor and you don't think and you grab your iron with your bare hand. This bare hand. And you burn yourself because you're not thinking. <laughs> yeah, I did that this morning. So in order to hold on to the um, the rail, which has quite a bit of really rough grip on it on my uh, treadmill, uh, I might wait till this afternoon. And um, yeah, 
do that instead. I contacted a friend and she said put aura gel on your fingertips and it will numb them. <laughs> so I probably will do that. Anyway, yeah. So exercise yesterday, same thing. I was, you know, just trying to keep up that um, interval training. And it is not fair weather to walk outside and Ian has been very tired um, after work and over the last couple of weeks and doesn't really want to go out to go for a walk at night. And I don't mind walking outside by myself. It's not like I live in a, you know, a bad neighborhood where people are carrying guns and blah, blah, blah. And quite a quiet neighborhood. It's quite a nice little residential area. But I don't enjoy walking out by myself, and I think it's because I'm self-conscious about my weight, and people will stare and go, God, what a fat so, you know, because that's what I think. Uh, yes, I know I need to get over it, <laughs> but I haven't, so I won't do that, and I will continue to use my treadmill, because that's better than nothing, right? So are you working out? Um, what kind of workout do you do? Um, if you are working out, congratulations, good for you. Keep it up because I know it is not easy sometimes, especially if you work, whether you work out or you work from home, it isn't, it isn't the easiest thing to do. It isn't the easiest thing to find time and you certainly don't feel like it when you get home, but you gotta keep going. You gotta make yourself do it. And keep fighting that mental game as well as the physical game too. It is really easy to fall back into old habits and don't do it just don't do it if you need me i'm here or if you just want to chuck something out to any any old person put a comment below and say i need help or has anybody got any advice and yeah and any one of us will help if we can help right i am going to head out now i have some moving things to take care of because i'm already done ian's dresser drawer and his clothes cupboard and now I need to do mine yeah I do oh well yeah uh, somebody will enjoy the clothes <laughs> anyway I hope you're all doing really really well um, I hope your weather's great and I will speak to you tomorrow take care of yourself I'll talk to you later bye